So at Slant3D, we're working to build a warehouse where the shelves make the product, allowing mass production 3D printing of fully new products completely on demand. And this is a big goal, and we've made a lot of steps towards it, building like the mega farm and our, our large fleets of printers as they are right now. But we cannot do it alone. There's a lot of people and a lot of organizations that we work with that allow us to do what we do. And even though we do a lot ourselves, we do make our own software, we do make our own machines, and we do make even a lot of our own filament. We need more help, and we will always need more help. So there's a lot of our suppliers that we would like to just kind of give a shout out to show how great they've been and explain why we use them and why they're so good. So today we want to talk a little bit about Push Plastic. So Push Plastic is a filament manufacturer based in Springdale, Arkansas, who got started in 2013, right when 3D printing was really starting to heat up, especially within FDM. They focus on the production of FDM filament, which is why they work with us, because that's the only thing that we do. But the team there has always focused very hard on quality, as well as being a proud US manufacturer. But their focus on quality is really quite unparalleled because they've taken the steps that they need to in order to ensure that their filament is of good quality, both dimensionally and via color. With many of our manufacturing partners in the past, a lot of the issues that we have had are around color consistency. And this is partially due to the market itself, since individual consumers do not notice when one spool is slightly different from another, we very much notice when thousands of parts are lined up alongside themselves. So material consistency is so important in maintaining and operating a reliable manufacturing process. Push Plastic has consistently delivered good quality filament to us. Within that, there's always been mistakes and errors. There, that is part of any manufacturing process. There will be bugs or defects, but they've always had them at a far lower rate than almost any of our other partners, which is why we've maintained the relationship with them. They are a premium filament, but the premium cost is justified by the quality of the filament. If a part that takes 36 hours fails halfway through, we have lost 36 hours of both material and print time and the revenue associated with it. So paying a slightly higher premium for the raw material can be very useful. Now, since Push Plastic is also very reliable in the creation of colors, we use them both for custom compounding as well as the creation of custom Pantones. And we have built that relationship. And it's been a good relationship this entire time. Even more recently, as we have started to expand our filament offerings to other customers and partners, they have doubled down on their relationship and partnership with us and are started to work with us to see how we can use them to help us expand uh, the reach of what our, our filament brand will do, as well as continue to supply our additional factories as we build them. And Push Plastic has not been dormant or stagnant in how they have pursued this. They have continued to expand their capacity over the years to ensure that they are meeting the demand that is available, as well as expanding ahead of where the demand will go, which is something very important to us as we continue to build hundreds of new printers with the intention of building fulfillment centers around the country and around the world that are able to produce parts on demand anywhere. And while we continue to grow, even though we make our own filament, there is no possible way that we will always be able to make every color, every variation, and do it consistently. There are places where people who are good at what they do are very, very helpful, especially if we don't have to do it ourselves. So we will always need and appreciate the suppliers that we have, and we'll do all we can to support them. And in fact, that is part of the reason of videos like this, is in order to allow them to continue continue to grow and scale, we'd like to promote them to you so that if you happen to buy more material from them and you enjoy it and they're able to then improve their quality and expand their comfort and improve their facilities and increase their scale, that helps us as well in building print farms. So it's a completely selfish incentive to promote them, but also as part of the partnership, this is one of the least things that we can do in order to make sure that our partners and suppliers are as successful as we are, as we all go on this journey of creating truly mass production 3D printing. Push Plastic continues to improve and we deeply appreciate that. And they are pushing into certifications such as ISO 9000 in order to ensure that they are qualified and producing a qualified product, which is why we're able to use them and rely on them for mass production. And in fact, if you are another print farm who is needing a good supplier, we do recommend them. And we don't mind 
Because again, if you are helping them, you are helping us because so long as they are not struggling and are instead thriving, they're able to reach more scale, potentially cut us a deal from time to time, fellas, if you're watching, and actually help grow the industry as a whole. So we will continue to do videos about these around the suppliers that have been fantastic to work with because we think that a rising tide raises all boats and Push Plastic is a fantastic example of a partner that we want to promote and help grow. Have a great day, everybody.